up guys welcome to the youtube video and in today's video coach light is back i'm gonna be coaching one of my clan members munsta but you guys might also know him as dnb now munsta was so kind enough to actually record his gameplay play a couple of games so i can review his gameplay so we're gonna have a look at what he's doing right what he's doing wrong and uh, these are mobile lobbies so i know a lot of you are also mobile players so you might actually learn a few things here and there so make sure to watch the entirety of the video and without further ado let's hop into the video I hope you guys enjoy and if you do make sure to smash the like button and of course hit that subscribe button because you guys know what happens on 15k right and for that 15k special i might need a coach as well not gonna lie anyway let's go all right guys here we go we have dnb aka munsta dropping on shutter island he is aiming for a residential area he has a few teammates he is playing with random so you know this is going to be a pure experience of someone just randomly playing with some random teammates and um you know how to improve in solo queue so as you guys can see he is dropping down he's rather slow with the drop down but that's okay he can see where people are dropping so you kind of can avoid the danger straight off the bat uh his teammate also is here and now we can get we can see that there's a block fight going on now his teammate goes down and once over here he gets some nice shots so the, the shield actually gets cracked but rather than chasing that he's actually gonna res his teammate which you know it's nice of him uh i would be going now for some loot there you go have it we have two people coming back up and uh, i think they might both die here now munsta is gonna drop down here he doesn't have a weapon so that's a smart decision to make to back up and hopefully get some uh ammo and weapons and uh, the enemy did drop right behind him in the smoke so that was a very very nice smoke that he posed and he's gonna go back up trying to juke people around and very very important what he does here he actually pulls out his melee and that is gonna make you a lot faster now he finds a cag over here very very nice now he gets pushed by that nova gets some nice shots over it's a nice slide as well and now his other team is also coming and is he gonna get this kill as well one more shot with the glock very very nice and that is a very nice execution 1v2 situation over here now that nova did get back up and you're gonna have to like kill them the reload preventing him from doing so and there you go he can finish off the kill now and he's gonna finish it off with the smoke which is very very nice it gives him time to heal up and also maybe get some better weapons the Nova managed to res again and still goes down. That was a bit awkward, but uh, that's okay. So Munster over here has uh, 4.5k gold, here. trying to get some nice weapons. We have a P90, and then we also have an Origin 2, very, very powerful weapons. And uh, at this point, you want to look for better I weapons still. So. Uh, I mean, still not the best. You do need a medium range weapon. There is a fight going on in this building over here. And Munster over here, very nicely. Third party is that. And someone is knocked over here as well, and he's going to try to finish that off. So, two people down. He has 11k to his name. Could do a loadout drop. Could go to a buying station to get some custom weapons now. And uh, someone else is dropping back here, and he hears that. He's going to turn around and take that fight. And uh, now, in a 1v1, getting some nice shots over here, but also taking a lot of damage. Still gets the knock, but this actual fight could have been a lot, lot smoother. Because at the moment where he takes his fight, basically he have he opens up like his magazine, he shoots it out, makes one nice slide, and right here where he's standing still is super, super dangerous. Probably should have made another slide to the right and then try to empty his magazine. Uh, because this allows his enemy to do a lot of damage. Uh, again, reload over here. And the reason why I'm saying that is because um, you want to take as least damage as possible in the scenario where you do get third party. So if you do get third party here, you might actually die because as you guys can see, months over here, midlife, half, half HP. So um, one tip that I can give you guys is if you are fighting, even on mobile, um, try to always be moving around while you're emptying your magazine. I mean, you can stand still for like one second, but any more than that, you will get headshotted and uh, you will die very, very fast. So be very careful with that. Munster over here now drops a uh, gas grenade to finish off his kill. Very, very nice. And the hair we have at the third party coming in. Emma, he gets beamed. And also, uh, someone is in here. Uh, that uh, Nova actually managed to... Um that Nova actually managed to self rest, which is interesting. So in this case, it's probably a best a better idea to not finish off your kills by the gas because you know sometimes they can still crawl sort of out of it and still self rest. So definitely try to finish off your kills. Early game, I would recommend doing so by melee attacks so you can save ammo. But in the late game, if you have to finish someone off fast, just shoot them down and uh, move on. All right, he's going to be able to self res here. We have a zero in this building that is not finishing him off. Dude, this guy is a potato and he didn't see that Munsta is in here. Uh, so Munsta right now, uh, one HP is going to pop a gas so they don't push him. And um, he might actually be able to live off of this. Nope, maybe. Okay, he's, he's going to get third party hit by the hang, dropping back on him. 
And that turret is doing so, so much damage. Now, this is an interesting fight because, um, yes, you can't really help that someone is dropping on you. But the way you could position here is uh, you, you could have made a difference by positioning yourselves so you wouldn't get hit by that turret, right? So if we go back here, um, just like five seconds, right here, okay? This guy is going to pop the turret. What I would have done is I would have actually slided to the right in the building and tried to finish off the kill um, by standing in the doorstep. Or even going behind the van that is behind you. So that is what I would do so you don't take damage from that turret. What you could have also done is um, empty up your magazine of the P90 on that turret and then try to finish off your kill uh, by the origin by sliding aggressively towards them. So those are a bit of different scenarios of how you could have played that differently to survive. But there is a lot of people in the area. So even if you would get this kill, it's not entirely sure that you know you would actually survive here. Uh, but that's okay, so he gets finished off. He's gonna have to spawn back into the map. Alright, so unfortunately for Munster, his teammates didn't re respawn him back. Um, one of them actually has 18k, so they could've. But anyway, Munster is dropping back on the map. He decides to go somewhere else. There's a loadout drop right here. And uh, he's gonna be able to pick something up very, very nicely from that. So that's a good spot over here. And uh, he picks up a CAG, which is a very, very solid gun. Uh, very, very low recoil, fi good fire rate, decent damage. And uh, now he's looking to run back to where he died. And I'm curious to see how many people are here. His teammate actually died here. There is still people inside this building. But just remember that he only has a primary weapon. Because that secondary weapon is still that base Glock. He's going to throw down a gas. And he's going to try to play around the corners. He's going to also throw down a grenade. And that might actually hit someone. So he is trying to zone off people. And uh, you can see that there's multiple enemies. We saw an Emma, we saw an Ethan, and uh, it's going to be very, very important to, um, you know, play this out correctly and watch your, watch your step, watch your positioning. Uh, he managed to get a P90 here, which is very, very good. So CAG, P90, very solid loadout. And then we have the Emma moving up to him. Uh, he is going to try to pop some smoke grenades, maybe for some cover, maybe to uh, kind of like smoke, uh, confuse people around. Takes the 1v1. Unfortunately, that person is, uh, this is actually interesting. Um... Because this 1v1, as you guys can see, DNB over here is, or sorry, Munster. Uh, I, I'm so used to calling him DNB. But anyway, uh, he's shooting down with the CAG versus a P90. And I honestly think that if he was actually shooting with that P90 as well, this could have been a, either a trade off or he might have actually won this fight. Because you can see that the aim is there, but uh, he, the opponent actually just has a better weapon. Now, luckily for him, he's going to probably be able to sub us here. As his teammate is actually covering him, so W teammate over here. And um, let's see how he does next. He's going to be able to heal up. Zone is coming, and you definitely want to start moving now because uh, Zone is closing in. Zone is going to hurt, and there's still a few enemies around. So, you know, if you get caught moving from the zone to the safe zone, um, you know, trying to fight, it, that's not ideal. So, um, has 15k to his name. Could have popped a Thurum Balloon and uh, try to get away, but at this point, you just want to walk. Okay, we still have an enemy over here, and this is what I'm talking about. Uh, fighting while moving for safe zone is very, very tricky. He has not one, but he has two enemies around him. And, um, yeah, that is very, very tricky. Pops up his uh, ability to move faster. And uh, that ran. Um, just trying to finish him off there. And there's not much you can do about that. I mean, there's people all over the place. But the only thing that I can say here is, is just move before um, the zone actually pushes you, right? Um, and definitely you would have had a chance that after you go at self rest, you could have popped the foot and balloon and just fly away. Um, that would have been a much, much better choice than just trying to walk to zone, where there is like on this screen alone, I think four enemies visible. So, you know, obviously you're going to get shot at, you're going to get sandwiched. Um, but uh, let's see, he does manage to celebrate here. I don't know if he's going to be able to pop uh, heals. Probably will be able to pop heals, but you are so far away from the zone. The zone is actually closer than I thought it would be. I thought it was still moving. Unfortunately, someone is outside this zone. Uh, we have two enemies, so he gets taken down. There's not much you can do about that. You know, you had to celebrate, which was already lucky. 
But after that, um, you know, you, <laughs> you luckily like walk into them. DMD dropping back into the map. He got bought back this time around, so that's good. He has 7k to his name, and he is gonna decide to drop into boiler room. There is another loadout drop here, so W could buy a secondary weapon in the buying station right under him. Uh, there is people in this building, so let's see what actually happens because, um, you know, CAG is a good gun, but like in close quarter combat like this, you really, really want to have um, either an SMG or a shotgun, and that's what he picks up. He has an Origin 12 now to his name, which is very, very nice. You can see that there's footsteps around here, and uh, there you go. He spots out that zero over here. That's zero, one HP. Gonna try to run for his life. And, uh, yep, still in the corner. Gets that kill. Very, very nice. Reload. That is, uh, that is good. Um, but now, a month over here. 10k. Um, gonna decide to go up. I mean, he does have a CAG, um, so that's good. Throws a, a smoke grenade up to the tower because he hurt someone up there, which is very, very good. And uh, people really, really love... Uh, camping on the tower so what he did there is really really good um he actually managed to get that person off to like uh, you know for force him a little bit away uh he's gonna here he's gonna chase that other kill that's not the same person that's on the tower but managed to take him down and again i think um one thing that i would give you dmb is that um when you're using weapons right you have a loadout you have an assault rifle and then you also have uh, a secondary weapon uh what i often notice is that you are very very used to using your cag um, but your close corner combat weapons, such as the Origin 12, uh, such as P90, or even other, um, you know, SMGs, IMP9, really, really, you need to make it a habit to really swap to them when you are in close corner combat like this, because, um, you know, CAG is a good and solid assault rifle, but anything like you know an smg or, or or like shotgun will pretty much outgun at close range so definitely remind yourself that you need to switch to that close range gun when you can Reloading. All right, now it gets third party here by a Nacho player. That Nacho player puts up his wall, and that's a pretty, pretty interesting thing to do. He also manages to put down a smoke to zone away, and we have uh, kind of a battle of the potatoes going on. That Nacho actually very, very smartly goes back through his uh, wall, so DNV can't really follow him, because otherwise he'll get blinded and, uh, you know, it'll be easy to gun him down. Again, uh, you're shooting with the CAG-6. Um, you did get a few shots off with the Origin, but right here, for example, I would try to push this guy with an Origin. Unfortunately for him, he actually gets blinded here, and this is very, very treacherous because with the natural sometimes there's a little gap and you think you can go through that but that is not something you can go through the the, the wall will still hit you the the hitbox is pretty pretty big even if it doesn't look like it so that's unfortunate i think otherwise you would have had the skill and now this guy is still juking around he's still alive we just saw him go through the door and around the wall and dmb is going to decide to go through the window here which is very very good he's tracking him down and uh, over here nice shots he's gonna be able to kill him here and uh He's going to be able to finish him off with the Nova Gas, which is very, very good. Um, so, yeah, I would probably, like, climb up on that as well, like he is doing right now, just to make sure that he is actually dead. We can't see his body just yet. Okay, there it is. It's inside. So, uh, that was uh, that was a good kill. Very, very good kill. We're going to move on here. There's a lot of people around. We can see a zero over here. Gets taken down. Was on 1 HP, but, hey, we love three kills. And now we have a lot of people in this area, right? We're getting to the late game where things are getting a little bit more tricky. His teammates are um, kind of near him, but not entirely. He gets shot in the back, and he's gonna try to, uh, you know, back up here. Oh no! Okay, this is something that I want to talk about. You get shot in the back here, right? Um, like right here, you're gonna finish off your kills, and it's super, super important to know what you want to do here. Okay. Me, personally, I probably either would have gone around the wall like you did, or I would have gone around the boxes and check who is shooting me. Um, because this person actually manages to break your shield. And because of that, he's going to want to push you. And it's up to you to kind of like juke him around and not take too much damage. Uh, but that was something definitely unexpected. DMB over here um, tries to put a smoke grenade down. Not entirely sure why. I probably would have swung around the corner and tried to empty my P90 magazine here. Um, unfortunately for DNB, this like sliding pole is really, really in the way. So like, uh, there's about like ten bullets that actually go on the pole instead of the character. Uh, he manages to do a nice slide over here, and he's gonna pop a Nova gas over here. So that's gonna be able to, um, he's gonna be able to zone them off. But then what you do next is a bit weird. Okay, so. 
I'm not entirely sure why you throw uh, a smoke grenade and a gas grenade and you don't actually use the utility of it. Because I think, in my opinion, you could have actually stayed either in the smoke or in the gas and then you would have been able to heal up or at least stabilize a little bit so your shield regenerates. I do think he's going to go down here because the zone is also pushing. So again, zone is pushing, you're fighting enemies. So my tip to you is not only like move faster through the, through the safe zone, but also that Nova gas and that smoke that you did was actually not bad, but you didn't make the most out of it. And that is why you die because you actually um, kind of go around the corner and that's exactly where the enemy was. So you kind of like ran into him again. We also have someone else here, uh, another ran player. Um, that also needs to go to the zone very, very desperately. And uh, I don't know if he's going to survive this, because at this stage of the game, um, the zone is pretty, like, strong. Um, he did manage to get a kill on someone. I don't know how that's possible. Uh, probably was the rat, actually, now that I come to think of it. She probably died to zone, and he got the kill off of it, because she might have taken some uh, damage to that gas. I'm not sure. Anyway, he's healing. He's moving. Uh, zone is not too far. It's going to be a close call. Okay. Oh, dude. Okay, so let's watch this. One HP. Throws out a gas. We have a Ren also moving in here. Now, this is super unexpected. The Ren kind of sees you but leaves you alone. And then you're going to run into her again. I honestly think that if you would have just thrown down the gas, you would have had a better chance of survival rather than trying to run around here. Unfortunately for DNB here, uh, his teammates are also dead and he had one disconnected teammate, so they end up fifth place. But if I can give you a few tips, DNB, it's that one, always move into the zone in time. Two, um, you know, we've seen some of your 1v1 fights where you definitely need to like, you know, empty your magazine, slide a bit more, do some more movement in between uh, your shots uh, because that is going to make you like significantly a better player. I know that is something very, very hard to learn, but um, it makes the world of a difference. Um, third tip that I could give you is to always swap to your close quarter combat. When you are in close quarter combat, uh, you often use your CAG or your assault rifle up close as well, which is not ideal. Um, you know, really good players, they always be using P90s and Origins uh, up close. So that's what you got to do as well. And um, yeah, uh, one last tip that I just thought of is that you need to get the most out of your utility. So if you do throw a smoke grenade down, make the most out of it. If you do throw a gas grenade down, make the most out of it. And also, if you have the opportunity to always finish your kills, uh, either by shooting them or meleeing them, I would definitely save your gas grenades uh, for finishing off kills, especially uh, if they're very, very close to you. Um, the only reason why I would use my gas grenade personally if I want to finish off a kill is when I snipe people and they're like far away. Uh, but if you have the opportunity to save it for a better scenario, that's what I would do. And uh, yeah, man. Other than that, you are a decent player. Um, you have decent aim. I can see that you are winning most of your 1v1s. Um, but I think you ha do have some points to improve on, the points that I just mentioned. So I hope this video helped you out. I hope this coaching session helped you out. And uh, yeah, I hope it helps out other people as well. People that are watching this video, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed these tips and these kind of like reviews of errors that people make. Um... And yeah, if you guys want to see another episode of this, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.